Hello everyone, this is Doug Curtis with Network RV and today we're continuing our series to make smart buyers smarter and we're talking today with Tony Barber from Smart Plug. And uh, Tony, I know that you have a, a solution for some major problems that are out there in the industry. Could you please start by telling us what is the product and what is the problems that you're solving? Hey, thanks, Doug. Um, I'm Tony Barber and I'm the CEO of the, the Smart Plug Company. We're excited to be here today um, on Network RV um, to talk about our, our product, the Smart Plug Connector. Smart Plug created a, a very innovative product um, for hooking up power, a power delivery system that's being used today uh, in the RV and the marine market. It's a, it's a technology that's completely different. I can show it to you here where we've been able to develop a solution to the age old twist lock problem. Our connector basically is a straight push on connector and it makes it um, easier, safer, more secure um, than what the technology that's currently out there today in the, in the twist and lock technology. Okay, so should help those people that are watching and listening, what is the, what is the solution that they're currently living with today and what's the problem with that? You could show us that other plug, please. Well, this is the standard plug that's, uh, that's been used in the industry for, well, since, since 1938, uh, when the technology was initially developed and patented. Um, today, this technology um, is not holding up to the standards uh, that, that the RV industry has with regards to the power demand that they're putting on today's coaches. Um, the, reason, the reason that a consumer or a customer would come uh, and, and look for a smart plug connector is because he's seen or experienced or heard um, about burnt connectors and cords and power cords, which are becoming all too common um, in, in the industry. Um, the twist and lock connector um, was developed uh, using a technology um, called the L5 technology, the L530. This is the electrical component that's inside the connector. Um, again, this connector was developed before air conditioning, before electric heaters, before electric hair dryers, microwaves. And, and as you can see, there's not even enough um, resistance to hold the metal together. That limited metal-to-metal -metal contact creates a real high resistance and that real high resistance creates heat and heat creates uh, potential problems. On the other hand, um, Smart Plug came up with a solution and was able to come in with a, with a standard, typical, straight push-on connector. Uh, and if you had the, the, the opportunity to feel the amount of metal that's in this, it's 20 times more surface contact than what you have in a traditional twist and lock connector. That additional metal contact lowers the resistance, lowers the heat, and eliminates potential problems for, for overheating. When we introduced this, we also got something extra. We, we started off focused on safety, and what we ended up getting on along with safety was ease of use. When you use uh, this type of a connector, and you have the, the, the male end, the first thing you have to do is you have to try to line up that little pin. Um, and that night, it's and you're looking at your connector, you're trying to fit it in there. Uh, right. You've got to make sure it's properly aligned, and then once you get it in there, you got to insert it, and you got to try to get it in there. Then you got to manually lock it, right? Um, and then you got to bring up this ring and you screw it down. And sometimes this ring is cross-threaded, the ring is cracked. Uh, there's a lot that goes on just to hook up your shore power. On the other hand, when you go with a a smart plug connector, you can accomplish the same thing. This is your coach, this is your connector, with a simple push. Wow. And then you're in. Well, what you've actually done here now is you've got automatic locking um, levers on the side. So you squeeze them, you can remove them. Oh. You have a, a, a fairly large chunk of material here that gets inserted in this asymmetrical design. And by doing that, it takes all the load off your pins. So from an electrical standpoint, you can have wind, you can have movement in here, and you're not putting any stress 
on these little pins that are inside here because of the, the, the housing that's inside there. Okay. So not only did we get a product that was safer, that was, that was, that ran a lot cooler, but we also have a product now that is much easier to use. So our, 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 our real theme here is, is all about safe, secure, and, and, and ease of use. And that's what we really are going to the market with. Wow. I don't think it could be any more clear. I, I really understand. But let me ask you this. Uh, you've explained what the product is. You've explained how it works. Uh, I know we shared, we talked a little earlier. Could you tell us a little success story? Because people say, well, that's really nice, but you know, I'm not sure that really relates to me. And you were telling me some of the stats on fires and problems and fear. And here people are going RVing. They're going out to relax and enjoy themselves to sometimes go on a lifetime adventure. And now there's a new element called fear about safety. Can you share some of the information about that? Yeah, and we, we, um, we get emails. Uh, on a regular basis, we get phone calls. Uh, we get le we get thank you letters um, from our customers. But you you asked earlier, do you have one specific um, situation that you recall? And and I and I think of the fact that when we came up with the product, it was all about saving lives. Um, and and yet we're doing more than that. We're now saving marriages. Um, <laughs> We did have a young lady call up. She, um, her and her husband had just made a major investment in, a, in an RV, um, young family. Um, she saw a fire um, in, in, a, in an RV and she saw how fast it went up. Um, she was very concerned about her kids and her family, about putting them back in an RV, concerned enough to where she just didn't want to go RVing. Um, obviously, the husband was a little disappointed couldn't understand why they just made this major investment and it was really creating some problems in their life. Um, he re did some research. Uh, he found the, the smart plug website through some people. Uh, she, he gave her the information. She did some research. They installed the smart plug on their coach and she sent us a letter basically saying, uh, you saved my marriage. Yeah, that's good. So, so it's, it's a, it, it is a real problem. Uh, you mentioned some of the statistics out there. Um, NFPA recorded uh, in 2017 over 20,000 fires in RVs. Um, I cannot directly relate that number to to the to the connector, but on the marine side, uh, U.S. Boat Magazine or U.S. Boat Insurance, basically, they did a study on the on the marine side and they published 55%. Uh, of the boat fires that happen uh, in the marine market were directly related to the connector. So if you use those numbers and you do a, a correlation of, of, of the percentages, you have a significant amount of problem in an RV um, when, it, when it comes to your inlet connectors. And again, it's evident when you get to the dealer level. If you go into the dealer, into the back, into the service, um, we've been trained by the smell. We can go in, into a dealership and walk right to the failed product. But you ask the service manager, he'll bring you over to a corner and he'll show you a box of a burnt product. And um, the, if, if there wasn't smart plug, that dealer wouldn't have a solution. He would have to put in that same old technology with the L530 in it. And whatever caused that fire in the first place, it's probably going to happen again. And they might not be as lucky. Now he has an opportunity to, to comfort his customer to say, look, you know, there is a solution. There is a problem, a solution to this problem. It's a different technology. It's a lot safer. He'll show them the smart plug product uh, and, and then they go on continue RV. And without smart plug, there's, there is no option. So, okay. You know, you, you've covered a lot of ground there and that, and that is a great success story. And um, let me ask you that when, how difficult is it for somebody to actually make this type of change? Do they, do they just, uh, you know, buy the plug and hook it in there or do they take it to a service company or how does that work? Well, uh, um, a customer that's finally made a decision to make the change to go to, to smart plug, he has two choices. There's two ways to purchase the product. Uh, the first way 
uh, is if he looks at his power cord and if he's made an, a significant investment in his power cord recently and he has a, fair, a, a fairly new cord, a good cord, and he doesn't want to spend the money to buy um, a smart plug power cord, he can use his existing cord by buying a kit from us. It's a retro kit. We call it a combo kit where you get an inlet connector that you do mount on the coach and then you get another electrical connector where you can use your existing power cord and you can splice in the connection. Um, and, and, and so therefore you can reduce your cost a little bit of making the conversion. The other way would be is if you looked at your power cord and it was old and you decided that, you know, it was time for a new cord. Um, Smart plug sells a complete cord set. Um, and, and so in that package, you would get an inlet that would you would mount on your coach. Uh, the inlet connector fits in the same hole. It uses the same foot pattern. Um, you can use the same four screws you use with the competitor. You, you basically remove a few screws. You pull the old um, inlet out of the coach. You cut the wires. Um, and it's as easy... Um, this is a this is a 50 amp connector, but it's as easy as stripping some wire and pushing it into this plastic hole and tightening down this Allen head, uh, and then sliding it back on your coach oh, and wow. putting your screws in. So your installation on your coach is is fairly easy. If you decide to use our power cord, then you're basically done. Um, you okay. you just that's all you need to do. Okay. The other end of our power cord goes into the a campground pedestal just like your traditional power cord does so there's no issue about well am I going to be limited to where I can go no okay. it's the same connector that goes into your campground oh. pedestal um, and so at one end is your traditional campground connector and at the other end is a, is a much safer much more robust connection called smart plug okay you know that is great now um, I know that that make that answers probably a lot of questions and you know, we, we live in a world, unfortunately, where uh, it seems like everybody from, uh, you know, the, uh, not everybody, but we have a lot of skepticism. And so in order to bridge the confidence gap, what I call is we use evidence and proof. And you've just documented a couple of things there, but I know that uh, you say you have a website, you say you have testimonials, you have tests, you have charts, and graphs. Can you just sort of give us a kind of a, a, a brief one, two-minute overview so people can say, okay, hey, this makes a lot of sense. This guy is, you know, he's got a, a, a better technology since 1938. And, but tell us that story. I mean, how can we bridge that confidence gap, you know, with some detail maybe that you might be able to share with us? Well, we have a lot of different things that we can talk about when it, we, um, we talk about testimonials and actually um, proof of uh, performance. Um, the first is some of the, some of the industry's um, leaders that, that have um, seen and used the product personally. Uh, the first name that I would throw out there is Bob Livingston. Um, Bob was the editor of Trailer Life magazine for, for 38 plus years. He saw the product um, he did a, 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 an article in the January, I think it was 2017, um, release of the magazine where he did a step-by-step -step presentation. Um, he photo photographed it. He explained it as he went through. Uh, he's now retired traveling the country with our connector. He stays in touch with us. He loves it. He promotes it everywhere that he can, and he's given us approval to go ahead and, and reference his name. Uh, another industry leader is Dave Schumann, and Dave was uh, with the uh, general manager for Airstream Trailers. Uh, he ran their parts and service department, so he saw firsthand what the traditional legacy technology does um, for 44 years. Um, he has a smart plug connector on his uh, Airstream trailer. He's excited about it. He's called us, and he was, again, one of those phone calls same great job we said well can we use your name he's allowed us to do that he sent us photos of his rv um and so he's 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 basically been a been a supporter but leaving the, the, the outside the industry um we have insurance companies now that are actually giving our customers discounts if you put 
uh, a smart plug on your boat uh, or on your coach, there's 10% uh, discounts on your annual premiums. Um, we have insurance companies that have actually um, gone into promotional programs with us where they've actually paid for the installation to try to get our technology um, onto more product because they know it's a safer product. Um, we've done field testing and live testing where we've got some testimonials that are, are on the web that are documented for a four year period of time <clears throat> where they've tortured the product. And, and if you saw the photographs where uh, the RV is buried in four foot of snow and everything is iced over and it's got ice dripping on the connector. The next set of photos, he's in the desert. The next set of photos, he's in the mud flats. It's completely buried in the mud. Um, and and for, 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 for four years, he's, he's tortured these connectors um, and came back and did a really nice um, promotion for us. So we, in, in the fact that we've been in the marine market too for, for several years in a much more harsh environment, um, there's a lot of proof out there that the product holds up. Um, and on the marine side of the business, we're getting boat builders to convert um, on, a, on a weekly basis. We're picking up new builders. Um, we do have a handful of RV folks coming on board as well. So lots of evidence out there that the product works, a lot of proof. Uh, and, and a lot of good uh, feedback on the, on the web as well. Excellent story. You know, uh, this is really great, Tony. I mean, I am so delighted to have you here today making uh, smart buyers smarter, especially about something as so basic as, as just connecting in to get power and to eliminate the problems of fire and, uh, and basically improve safety. So uh, I know that... Um, you have a great deal of information on your website. And I know that, uh, you know, for a lot of the people that are listening or watching, uh, they can get connected with your whole national network easily by doing a, a Google search or going to your website. Is there any other a uh, little tip that they might use to be able to take action today if they felt like they needed to really get a little bit more information. What, what, what would, where would you point them? Any particular place or send them? Well, I would, I, I, basically, I, I would tell them to go to their local service center where they get their RV serviced. Um, those dealerships um, are covered by our, our distributors. We have okay. uh, some of the largest distributors in the in the industry. We use uh, NTP, Stag, and we use Myers along with a few other more local people. Um, those distributors um, have many, many warehouses, um, cross-docking systems um, to where they they can commit to getting product um, to a consumer either same day or, or next okay. day. So okay. if, if you, if you, want a, the, a, the connector, I would go to your dealer. Your dealer might have it in stock. If he doesn't, uh, he can typically get it the next day. Okay. Well, that is great. And I appreciate again, uh, I think we've covered everything. Of course, you could probably give a half day seminar about safety, <laughs> but I want to thank you today for taking time out of your day and uh, speaking to all of our viewers. Um, with that, I'm going to close out the show. Uh, and uh, we look forward to making more smart buyers smarter in our next show. So stay tuned and thank you again, Tony. Thank you. I enjoyed it.